This video marks the first episode in the basic tutorial series. The goal is to assist novice players and newcomers with the fundamental mechanics of Gates of Hell. The first button we will discuss is the Home button. The Home button acts as a shortcut to the main screen. The next option available to players is the Single Player button. In the Single Player, you have access to two options, Campaign and Conquest. Campaign, you can access single player missions, whether that be USSR, Germany, or the basic training. The other option available to players is Conquest. Conquest is a dynamic campaign generator available to all players in Gates of Hell. When selecting Conquest, you can set the settings to your liking to create a new campaign. Above the very top option, there is a selection tool that allows you to go back between screens. The next button is Multiplayer. Multiplayer gives you two options. The first option being Skirmish, where it automatically sets up a Lobby versus AI, and the other option which is Online Games. Pressing Online Games allows you access to the online player pool and the ability to host a game, filter servers, and refresh in case of connection errors. The next option we will discuss is Extras. Extras allows you access to the workshop and unit library. In the workshop, you can activate, delete, and unsubscribe from Steam Workshop mods. Unit library allows you to individually inspect units. Players are allowed to look at all the different specifications for each individual unit. This is especially useful for looking at penetration models. The Options tab allows you to adjust all video settings for your computer, as well as audio settings. There is also a tab for controls as well. Let's take a look at the in-game interface. Gates of Hell allows for hotkeys to be easily accessible via the middle bar. Go to the right panel, right click, then drag and drop into your desired slot to guarantee quick response times on the battlefield. On the left side of the screen, we have an overview of units on the field. Here, you can select squads, individual units, or equipment and armor. Below unit selection is unit info. Here, you can see health, stamina, change weapon and shell type, and see unit kills. The right panel allows players to call in units, a panel present in both single player and multiplayer. On the top right or left, depending on your settings, we have the minimap. Here, you can toggle on and off, resize the minimap, or adjust visual settings. The last topic I will cover today is Fog of War. When Fog of War is enabled, enemy units will only be visible within line of sight, or if the enemy fires their weapons. As you can see in this in-game demonstration, the units are only visible within the line of sight. That wraps it up for tutorial number one.